This morning's cooler temps have us, uh, I don't know, maybe dreaming of fall a little bit. I mean, we like the summer, but we love a good tailgate. It's tailgate weather for sure. Spending in the old <laughs> Saturday afternoon watching some football. Yeah, college football's kicking off. We couldn't uh, uh, complete our college football week without checking in with our alma mater, uh, along with Jason uh, Darnell's alma mater as well. We're talking about Michigan State University. And joining us to talk about the team in the season is Michigan State running back and current Spartan radio sideline reporter. Reporter Jay, you call Craig. Good to see you. Yes, yeah, good to be here. Appreciate you. And you're right. You know, it is. It has a fall feel in the air today. It does. It does. You got to be fired up for the season too. Yeah, definitely fired up for the season. I think it's going to be a very um, unique season for Michigan State. I think those guys are playing with a chip on their shoulders. Oh, yeah. uh, last season was a disappointment to say the least, mm -hmm. and I think they're going to come out and you know surprise a lot of people. We saw Peyton Thorne transfer, Keon Coleman transfer, two big. Uh, stat guys, obviously one of them being the quarterback, go elsewhere. How do you think that's – how how does this team get off the ground, I guess? You know, I think, um, you know, this team's using that as motivation. The guys that didn't want to be here are not here, mm -hmm. and the guys that are here, they're going to go out and play with. Um, you know, talking to a lot of the guys, especially in that wide receiver room, there's a lot of talented guys in that wide receiver room, and they just are going to get this opportunity to showcase their talent. What about who's going to be the quarterback? I can't get kicked out of the locker room. So I can't tell you that. <laughs> Whoever runs out first, but I think. Uh, <laughs> Keep your eye on that guy. Yeah, but um, no, I, I think, um, you know, Noah Kim is a guy that's, uh, you know, he has a lot of game experience. Um, you know, he, he's a mobile quarterback. He can stand in the pocket and throw the ball, but he can also use his legs to get him out of trouble. So I think, you know, Going in, the guy with the experience is going to probably be the one that runs out first. Makes sense. It's a true competition this this year too, right? They have a loaded quarterback room. Yeah, they have a very loaded quarterback room with um, Noah Caden and uh, Sam Lovett. Uh, yes. You know, those three guys are talented guys. That's a very good room and. It's so crazy now with the transfer portal and everything. You have to continue to recruit in-house. Right. Um, talk about uh, Coach Mel Tucker. This is his fourth season. I mean, it's it's been up and down, and he needs to get back up again. <laughs> yeah, it definitely has been up and down. Uh, you know, in that building there, you know, they they hear the noise that's coming from the outside there, but, you know, they can control what they can control. I think this is a big season for Coach Tucker. I think um, last year injury plagued a lot of things, especially defensively. They couldn't do what they wanted to do defensively. But this year is a year that I think, you know, he's got his foot in, um, brought a great staff around him, not just the X's and O's, but the support staff in the building there. So I think it's going to be a big year for him. And he's a he's a defensive guy. We know that. We need to see him light a few more cigars this year. That's for sure. <laughs> yes, <laughs> tough coming. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, Jay, do you see, what do you think might be the surprise of this season? Uh, maybe a breakout player or, or something that we're not expecting yet as fans? Um, the surprise for the season, I think our defense is going to carry the team this year. Um, you know, last year there was a lot of, um, you know, struggles in the secondary. I think those guys have a big chip on their shoulders. Uh, the corners, the safeties, all those guys, um, you know, so I think they're going to come out. They're going to come out firing all cylinders. They're going to be well improved, uh, you know, brought in a new defensive secondary coach, coaching along with Coach Barnett. Um, so I think the defense is going to be good. And on the offensive side of the ball, Nathan Carter, the running back, the transfer from UConn. Okay. He's coming in with a chip on his shoulder as okay. well. He's a fellow Western New York product, so i got to give <laughs> shout out. That's very dear to you. <laughs> that you is that area. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, but no, I think he's going to come in. Um, he's going to really light a spark and uh, open up that run game. And what that's going to do is going to allow the passing game to, to right. come to fruition. Um, real quick, we know that you're an author as well. Yes, yes. We got to have him back to talk about the book. By the way, it just came out. It's called Run. Run. From Civil War to the NFL. Yes. Because correct. you were born in, in Liberia. Li in Liberia, West Africa. Went through a civil war for two years there and wow. uh, had the opportunity to move to uh, Buffalo, New York, small town. Yeah. Michigan State and played in the NFL after that. And yeah. that book is out now, correct? The book is out now. You can get it on Amazon and uh, Barnes and Noble. Let's see Dave if we can get him back. Paul Craig, so nice to have you here. He matches you perfectly. He, he, <laughs> look at this. Uh, we it's planned it. Cohen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I knew I had to match Darnell every time yeah. I come in here. So. How do we hear you when you're doing your play-by-play -play on the radio? I'm on WJR 760. Um, right, very yeah, cool. you can hear tomorrow um, the, the pre-game show, kickoff show, post-game, everything. Awesome. Great. Thanks for coming in.